and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So in today's video, Jalen were kind enough to send me not one, but two of their kits. So the first kit here on top is a gel polish um, a starter kit, I guess. There's 18 colours, a top coat and a base coat. Uh, you can see most of the colours are very um, pastel. Uh, I don't know, I just found that they asked me what, which one, like two to pick like two things and I picked the gel polish um the pastels because you know that I love rainbow pastels I'm obsessed <laughs> and then the second I thought why not go with the um the gel x um a prey set but of course um this is the dupe I guess this one's cheaper <laughs> it's not dupe but do you know what you know what I mean so uh this is the uh gel press on nails um kit as well so it comes with instructions along with the tiniest lamp manual to go with the tiny lamp i've ever seen in my life <laughs> i was quite shocked um how small it was but you know you don't need that much paper to explain what a lamp is so yeah so you get a buffer and a file and they're both 100 to 180 grit you get um 12 different sizes of coffin medium sized nails and there's 240 in here and they all come pre-hetched as well inside and they all come on like that on the mold which I like because it's much easier to size them up off the mold and then pull them off I've got to be honest uh, it also comes with which not many do I don't think of the cheaper branded um sets of these it comes with a primer a dehydrator um your extend gel which also works as your base coat and a top coat it's non wipes so it's not sticky and it also comes with this lamp now um the wire is not very long but the button is uh, you press it on and then you can't turn it off for 60 seconds uh, I, I don't know you have to unplug it but the button is literally just like a it's like a sensor button i guess it you just literally you don't have to put any pressure on it and it turns on and then it stays on for 60 seconds and then it cures and then it turns off it's a very good lamp it's very hot but what also i did notice is um that the lamp got very hot after doing all 10 fingers so i unplugged it from the actual wire straight away and the wire is quite short so you don't see much of the lamp in this video um because yeah <laughs> so also it comes with this little um plastic set here and it comes with some glitter some thick and some thin tinsel which i really appreciate i think that was a really nice little touch um so first i am going to size out my nails because um yeah i i, I don't know why people do their prep put their base coat on and then size out the nails i don't know why people do that <laughs> I find you should always size out your nails first before you do anything else because once you put the base coat on, your fingers are sticky. Do you know what I mean? So I, yeah, I'd always size up my nails first and then do your prep and then put your base coat on and then worry about starting to stick them on. So here I am just sizing up. So there's like two lots of each size um, on the nail stand here. And I was just picking the ones that fitted best to my nails. Some of the nails are a bit static, so they were like foiling, failing, flailing, flailing all over the place. It was driving me insane. Um, but I managed to get there in the end. Um, but yeah, these nails, um, they are quite thin, but of course you do put like gel polish on top. You could put the extend gel on top or straight after. Uh, it's completely your choice. But yeah, I would put a little bit of extra strength on it, even if it's like a base coat, a colour and then a top coat at least you're putting on a couple of layers to strengthen it. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just taking out the buffing block and I'm going to actually show you how to prep your nails uh, for this um, method. So you wanna take your buffer and you wanna uh, file away that natural shine all off of the nail. You're not taking off layers here, you're just taking away the shine. Make sure to get every bit of shine off. You need to go around the nail completely. You don't want any shiny bits and you can see the difference there. Um, so then what I do is I think yeah and then I grab my cuticle pusher I wasn't going to push my cuticles back but then I realized that yeah it did need a little bit of pushing back so I just show you here so I push back my cuticles gently I might add and then of course you peel away uh, any of that like dead skin that comes up off the nail plate you can also use your uh, nail drill if you are comfortable with it doing so on your natural nail I'm not yet so I didn't um, so yeah you don't need to but yeah 
Um, I wiped away all the dust and I went in with some dehydrator and then their primer. Uh, there was no smell to these I found. They were actually not too bad and they dried nicely. I do like that the, this is a cheaper brand and they still have um, the primer and dehydrator in here. I love that they've done that. So I did use my peel off base coat but this is where I'm showing you it's very thick. You would go in with this as a layer after you've done your prep onto your natural nail and then you would cure uh, in your big lamp. I'd use, You can use that little lamp and do one finger at a time by all means but I would advise to do like cure in the big lamp but then like I said you can use one finger at a time it's completely your preference up to you uh, but make sure you cure that base coat onto your nails and then you want to just do as I just done grab your nail turn the lamp on first the little the little lamp that come with the actual set you want to put a little bit of that gel into the well there <clears throat> press down and make at like a 45 degree angle make sure that nothing oozes out make sure none touches your skin if it does just quickly clean it up um and then hold it in place with so the no air bubbles and stick it under the light and cure for about i'd say 10 to 15 seconds then you can let go um i did notice that there was a bit of a heat spike so i was pulling my nail out and then i was waiting for it to cool and then i was putting it back in if you get a heat spike it's nothing to do with the actual product it just means that your nail beds might be a little bit thin and the, yeah that's not anyone's fault it's just some people have thin nail beds some people don't <laughs> uh so now i'm just filing off that little red rigid little bit at the top that come off of the mold um and now i'm just showing that you can um oh that's where i was noticing that it was hot so i took the wire off and stuck it to the other side just because yeah I, I just didn't like the fact that the top was boiling hot uh but there are four little lights in it so maybe that's why i don't know uh but here i am showing you now to take away the natural shine not natural shine these are fake tips now oh gosh uh now i'm showing you that you would take the shine away from the nail tip itself uh you can use your e-file it's completely up to you or you can use your buffer that come in the actual kit it's completely fine either will do they both do the same job one might be a bit quicker but yeah i wouldn't worry so i did do a couple of sets i wanted to do here's here's my my thought process so i wanted to do a all year around uh like 12 quote unquote even though i've got 10 fingers 12 months of the year i wanted to do like a from january to december sort of set so each nail represents a different sort of holiday and uh season uh, going throughout the year so because I do only have 10 fingers I am not some weird mutant that has 12 fingers so yeah sorry <laughs> uh, so what I'd done is I just I went with things that would that suited me of course you can change it up a little bit and I took two of the summer months out because you fa I found that no one really celebrates much in the summer of any sort of holiday because summer is a holiday in itself I guess because it's summer and you can go to the beach and you can yeah do you know what I mean <laughs> so I was like okay so I took out two of the summer months and I done all the other months but you basically go from pinky to pinky and what I've done is I've just gone from January all the way to December so the first one that we are doing is um my pinky on my left hand and it is January so we are starting off with January and um, basically January I was like okay I was gonna do a New Year's theme but I was like no I don't want to do a New Year's theme because like I was just gonna do wine glasses and I was like that's quite boring so I thought do you know what January it's actually my birthday in January the end of January is my birthday and of course January because it's my birthday in it, I kind of remember January as well, and my sister's birthday to be fair. <laughs> um, so I was like, right, I'll do birthday balloons because January reminds me of my birthday. But of course, through the year, you can have any day be your birthday. So of course you can do like a New Year's nail and then just change one of the nails to your birthday if you ever wanted to recreate these. Um, my right hand is a little messy because it's my non-dominant hand. I'm I was using my non-dominant hand to paint, but we'll get to that when we get there. <laughs> so anyway, the next nail is, of course, February. So i done uh, a layer of that pink, and then I go in then. I cure each layer, by the way. I don't, um, 
I don't just leave it all wet and just yeah uh, so I like of course cured the pink then I put the balloons on and cured in between until I was happy so that's the same as what I've done here I cured in between the dots and February is of course Valentine's Day so I done purple and red and pink dots and then I added these red hearts uh, you can just about see them um, I was I should have gone for the, a darker red but this was the darkest red in the kit and I only used this gel polish kit uh, for the gel in this so yeah uh, sorry about that uh, so the next one is May not May sorry March going into April March April and it was spring to me so I was like okay springtime I remember Easter that's the first thing when I think of spring I think of Easter so I done a bunny rabbit head um I used the green, I cured, and then I go in with this like greyish purple. So, because there's no black or white in this actual set, I do use this greyish purple-ish blue as um, like the colour that I use to draw my art with. Uh, because there is no black. If I had a black in this, I would have used the black. But I wanted to just solely use this gel set with like stickers and like a bit of glitter and stuff. But yeah, mainly um, I used loads of different tools and uh all the gel polishes are in here i actually used i think near enough all of the gel colors i think i was like four that i didn't use and that's because they were just so similar in color that I, I didn't need to use them so anyway i cured the head of the bunny and then i go in with my dotting tool and i just make the ears i cure them before going in then with a, the pink and adding a nose here it is and then also adding the um pink in the ears didn't give it eyes or anything i because i just i kind of liked it just being the plain bunny that it was uh i should have put two rhinestones in for eyes <laughs> i actually have googly eyes here i should have stuck the googly eyes there <laughs> so i had a lot of gel polish left over from yeah uh from all of those um nails that we've just done so far and i was like hmm, let's do because i wanted to just do like a butterfly for the next nail which was kind of like may i find like we're going from spring to summer um so may i was like okay let's do a marble background with all those other colors so we don't waste any of the color and then let's stick on some butterfly stickers and uh yeah i really like this nail this nail come out really nice i love the marble underneath but you guys know me i love marble anyway <laughs> so the next nail was a bit oof. okay so i'd done a french tip and i tried to do an ombre so the first thing I'd done was I went in with this uh, like salmony pink peachy kind of colour uh, I cured and then I went in and i done a French tip with this like reddish fuchsia pink and I ombre it into the purple. I'd done two coats of the French tip of course because it's a French tip and then I went in with the grey and I'd done one of those um, palm tree uh, beards like flying off in the distance sort of shadow um beach art thing you know what i mean in a second uh, i wish that i had a black i wish i just used a black i just i didn't want to you know because you can use the purple uh the purpley gray color it's just black obviously look better um but i am pleased with how some of these nails turned out some of them turned out better in my head <laughs> but the uh yeah the, the thought was there and I love this idea and I have a few more ideas and I I want you guys to let me know down below like do you want um me to do this more often because like I have a lot of gel polish sent to me all the time and I do enjoy gel polish and doing art I'm not the best drawer but like simple designs are easy and if I can do that do it then surely I know for a fact that you guys can because I cannot draw um <laughs> I wanted to try this was ages ago I tried to draw um the Powerpuff Girls and Buttercup looked I don't even know how to explain it she just looked like she was on something <laughs> so i was like okay never mind um so i definitely can't draw so when i do things like this i do enjoy that i kind of get that little like yay i've done something that's actually pretty decent um so yeah <laughs> but like i have a few ideas like um my favorite trends like 10 trends on my like nail trends on my nails um you know like uh, my favorite animal designs and uh my favorite i don't know 
abstract designs different things like that i want to i just i love the idea like this was actually my second idea my first idea was to do the design like the the nail nail art trends and then i was like no do the because we're coming up to the end of the year i thought it was a pretty good idea so <laughs> and i had a lot of gel polish to colors to go through so i was like okay i want to kind of use them all so that's what i've done so anyway we have just finished off this this hand now and I am now going in with some top coat. I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then we move on to the other hand. Um, so yeah, I was uh, really happy with this one, how that one turned out. Also, don't forget to put a base coat down before you start actually doing the gel designs. I forgot to, but I did on this hand and I was like, oops. Uh, <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is to make it a bit faster because I'm actually painting with my non-dominant hand and this was hard. This is why I like to do press-ons for this hand, which you can totally do, by the way. Um, but because I'd obviously stuck them all down first as the gel... Um, the gel x uh the jelly tip you know what i'm talking about this kit because <laughs> i've done it with that and they do last longer than press-ons to be fair so where these would last the press-ons last usually what with good prep about a week whereas these would last two to three weeks because they act like um well they're on with gel so yeah <laughs> um so because i'm painting with my other hand this mark this um ombre here was a nightmare to do i i was struggling so much with it i just couldn't get the line to not be so like defined <laughs> so i did sort it out a little bit off camera because otherwise it's going to take too long but as you can see it was just not working for me uh, but I do two two coats on all nails. So what I decided to do was to make it a bit faster and easier on myself. I painted all the base colours down on my nails first and cured them. And then I go in with my designs. Um, some of the designs are pretty sound. They look pretty good. And then some of them are just messy. Uh, but practice makes perfect. And I wanted to leave in the fact that like one hand that I've done looks decent and the other one looks it looks okay just to prove to you guys that you know practice makes perfect and i am nowhere near perfect uh <laughs> so i'm going in with that really light um pink so because i didn't have a white i actually used this as like my white color if that makes sense because it is such a whitish pink kind of baby pink color uh so it was actually kind of perfect um but the colours in this set are absolutely beautiful. They're really easy to use. They're not too thick and they're not too thin. They're like a nice uh, zip viscosity. Um, I would recommend two coats with a couple of these colours because they are very light and pastel. Um, but I had no problems with them. I found them pretty pretty sound in my opinion. Um, so the first nail that we do here, because I was thinking of June, um, I was thinking of Pride Month. So I decided to do a rainbow going from cloud to cloud. I thought that that was a perfect idea. Um, and oh yeah, the thumb on the other hand, I didn't say this. That one was just representing like the summer months because we have a couple of summer months where there's nothing going on, not in the UK that I can think of. So yeah, um, so I did skip two of the summer months. Do you know what I mean? I was like, okay, we need to skip the summer months because there is a lot of them and there's nothing much really going on <laughs> in that time of year. Um, everything seems to be at the start and then at the very end of the year, you never have like, yeah, I don't know. There probably is things that I could have done. And if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments because I'd love to do this again. This was really fun. Um, I like, I want to do like, um, uh, what is it a different countries sort of um saints days like like in wales we have saints pat uh, not saint pat we have saint david's day in ireland they have saint patrick's day uh i think in england is it saint andrew's day i can't remember i, I can't remember but like do you know what i mean like those sort of themes um like on the 5th of december um of the 5th of november we actually have um bonfire night and I was going to put that in, but then I was thinking, eh, well, I, I don't know. I, d I w don't know how I could do a firework. <laughs> I, I probably could, but you know what I mean. Um, but like uh, the other thing then was uh, Thanksgiving, but 
um because i'm british we don't really we don't celebrate thanksgiving so and i know but i know a lot of you are um a lot of my subscribers are american so yeah let me know because i would happily do this again and like put different like seasonal things in and stuff like that um but yeah i really enjoyed doing this because it was something different anyhow we're gonna go back to the nails so that second nail the index finger is meant to be um you know like where i done on the thumb on my left hand with the palm tree the index finger on my right hand was meant to be like uh leaves in autumn coming off of the trees um it it kind of worked it kind of didn't um so anyway that, so that was meant to be september now we are doing october and i wanted to do um that that heart-shaped cobweb that everyone has been doing i love it i think it's so great and i just because i cannot draw <laughs> as is when i went in with my left hand it just made the thing worse um and i was also meant to draw this all wet and then sugar them with glitter <laughs> but i was so i was just concentrating so much on that middle finger that web that i've completely forgot to sugar it so we do sugar the icicles though uh and i did like the way this nail in out this one that we're doing now uh so basically i'm going in with the lighter pink and then before curing i don't cure any of it i pour over some of this white sugar glitter and it turns out beautiful i love this nail this is probably one of my favorite nails how beautiful is that? Oh, I gotta do another nail set with just that design. <laughs> and then because I was like, okay, if I can't draw a spider web, I'm not going to get anywhere by dra drawing tiny little snowflakes on my pinky. So I went in with some stickers to save myself the, the trauma of trying to draw. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I uh, I did enjoy doing this set, guys. Uh, but let me know down in the comments what you actually think. Um, I All I do now is I just top coat and cure. And then I show you the reveal shots. Um, these kits I will link down below in the description box. Along with any codes, if um, if Jalen does give me any codes, I don't know yet. I've got to message him and ask. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, nail set and this tutorial. I wouldn't call it a tutorial. It's more of a, <laughs> this was my idea and I tried. <laughs> nah, I think I've done pretty good. I'm not going to diss myself because I did do pretty well. My um, my left hand, my non-dominant hand work needs, needs a little bit more work, of course. But yeah. Um, but yeah guys um other than that i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you're all staying safe i hope you're all having a wonderful day don't forget to keep on smiling um and yeah i think i'm i'm i haven't i haven't made a video for like a week and a half so i'm like spacing here um but i hope that i've remembered everything but like i said i'll link everything down below in the in the description box but until then guys i will see you all in my next video bye this could be good for me lately i was feeling like i need a purpose